developed capable and experienced renewable energy experts. Organizations and businesses alike have been gaining experience and building competency in renewable energy implementation. Ensuring universal access to affordable electricity by 2030 means investing in clean energy sources such as solar, wind and thermal. Adopting cost-effective standards for a wider range of technologies could also reduce the global electricity consumption by buildings and industry by 14%. This means avoiding roughly 1,300 mid-sized power plants, expanding infrastructure and upgrading technology to provide clean energy sources in all developing countries is a crucial goal that can both encourage growth and help the environment. Beyond um, the um, business potential, we're also very, very much concerned about the unaffordability of um, electricity light to over 60 million Nigerians. It calls for a lot of concern and I think by the day if you take away the potential of renewable energy contribution into the scope right now, we will be in a total mess. People really don't know because we don't have the data. But on a daily basis, we're installing, you know, if you just take, say, we have 500 renewable energy companies in Nigeria, installing just one kilowatt every day. If you take that numbers at the end of one year, it's, it's potentially large. So I think we're getting there. And if the um, power purchase um, agreement signed by the, 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 the Federal Ministry of Power um, for the utility scale also kicks into place, we're expecting about 1,100 megawatts of um, solar power to be generated and injected into the grid, I think that also goes a long way in solving the problem. So whichever way you look at it, I think um, we're endowed with the sunlight and we should make the best out of it. Nigeria has set a target of expanding electricity access to 75% of the population by 2020 and 90% by 2030. It aims to generate 30% of its total energy from renewable sources by 2030 a major commitment for an economy that depends heavily on fossil fuels. Existing investment in power grids built on fossil fuels keeps most countries tied to costly, polluting energy sources. So who can lead the way to save the people and save the planet innovations and practices? At the moment, renewable energy experts are looking to Nigeria. Just look at the statistics. We have 26 power plants running Three running on water, hydro, 23 running on gas, with all total installed capacity of 12,340 megawatts, with a population of 180 million and still counting. If we do census again and we do it right, we'll find that we're already 220 million people. With a household population of 28 million. So if power improves a little, many people are going to drop their generator sets and key to the national grid. So there's still going to be a lot of deficits. There may be improvement, but it will never be enough. That's why I said the solution is looking at mini grid and micro grid, solar home systems and solar office systems. Where government, like they do in other countries, advanced countries in Germany and UK, pay net metering for what the citizens generate. I believe this will create a green revolution. I believe it will, it, will, it will reduce poverty level in Nigeria. While renewable energy still cannot compete with fossil fuels in price, the margins are narrowing. Major improvement in energy efficiency and renewable energy production costs have decreased the amount of capital needed for key applications. There is still a need for capital investment, but costs have fallen by more than 75% in the last five years. Because Nigeria's fossil fuel-based economy will undoubtedly come to an end, searching for an alternative early is of utmost importance. With an abundance of renewable resources and growing government support, the ability for Nigeria to incorporate renewable energy into its power grid is ever increasing. With only 60% of Nigerians on the current power grade, it is evident that relying solely on fossil fuels is not enough to meet the energy needs of the country. So renewable energy alternatives may increase the energy capacity and availability in Nigeria. That's our program for the week. Thank you for watching. Do check this episode and other episodes of the program on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash channelswap. 
to click the playlist menu and then click S file. You can also follow me on Twitter. From me, Ayola Kasim, and the S file team here in Lagos. It's bye for now. Thank you.